Hey boys and girls, today is Wednesday, March 25th, and I have a book for you to listen to today, um, but I wanted to go over what I was um, expecting you to do today for school. One of the things is your sheet that looks like this, it has a G, an R, a D, and an O on it. Now I know you guys probably already know what you need to do, but you're going to cut out your letters, I mean your pictures, here at the bottom, and you're going to figure out if the picture starts with a G, an R, a D, or an O. So the first thing that you need to do is color your pictures. Try your very best to stay inside the lines. Remember, you're practicing for kindergarten as you color. You're going to cut out your pictures, and each picture you're going to decide. So the very first, first picture is a picture of a girl. G -g girl. So where do you think that's going to go? Under the G. The next picture is a dog. D, d, dog. And that will go under the D. And then you have an owl, owl, and that's going to go under the O. Then let's look down here, how about the rainbow, r r rainbow, so that will go under the R. So I know you guys can do this, I need you to show your parents that you can do it. You can cut out the pictures, you can color them nicely and you can decide which letter it goes under, okay? Can't wait to see your work. The other thing that I asked you to do was maybe take some Legos or any other toys like that that you can build the letter G, a big G and a little G. And when you're all finished, I want you to count those Legos or whatever toy you're using to see how many pieces it took you to make the letter G. Okay? And if you could send me a picture of that, that'd be great. Um, the other thing that, that I had for you today was a scavenger hunt, but it's raining. So I'm not sure that you would be able to do that completely today. You might want to save that till tomorrow when the sun is shining again. And maybe you can um, take the big G and the, and the little G sheets and, and cover those with something that starts with the letter G. You can switch out the two days if you would like. All right, so today I would like to read to you another G book. This one is called Gorilla Be Good. You see our big G and little G? And it says on the back, it says, Will Gorilla be a good house guest? You'll giggle at the goofy things Gorilla does when he comes to visit. Hmm. Lots of giggling going on, I think, on this book. Let's see. On Monday, I went to the zoo. Guess who followed me home? There he is. A gorilla. I asked my mom if he could stay. If he's a good guest, mom said. What is a guest? Someone who comes to visit? On Tuesday, Gorilla broke Granny's glasses and gobble, go ahead, I'm sorry, and gabbed on the phone all day. See, the glasses are all broken. And the gorilla is gabbing. What in the world does gabbing mean on the phone if he's gabbing on the phone all day? Looks like to me he's talking, 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 talking. Gab, 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 gab. Let's see, Granny. He says, Gorilla, be good. Hmm. On Wednesday, Gorilla trampled the grapes growing in the garden. What do you think trampled means? 
Looks like he walked all over them and busted them all up. What is he doing? He has his jump rope. Oh my goodness, he says, Gorilla, be good. On Thursday, Gorilla gobbled up a gooseberry pie, a gallon of ice cream, and other goodies. Oh my goodness. He doesn't sound like he's being a very good house guest, does he? Look how much ice cream he ate. Can you eat that much ice cream? That would give me a belly ache. Gorilla, be good. He knows if he's not good, his mother's gonna make him leave, doesn't he? Isn't he? <clears throat> On Friday, Gorilla dressed like a ghost and scared the goldfish. Boo. Gorilla, please be good. On Saturday, Gorilla glued gumdrops to Dad's galoshes. Oh my goodness. Gorilla, please be good. Dad doesn't look too happy. See that? On Saturday, Gorilla invited a gang of friends over. The gorillas played golf and other games. They made a great mess. Look, he has glasses on. See the golf club? A great mess. Oh, he's hanging from the chandeliers. Oh, no. Gorilla, please, please be good. Doesn't look too happy about this, does he? I think he looks a little worried. Oh. That gorilla must go, Mom said. Goodbye, gorilla. He has been a terrible guest. Oh, that's so sad. On Monday, I went to visit Gorilla at the zoo. Guess who followed me home? Piper would like to know. A goat. G -g goat. What do you think Mama's going to say? She says, good grief. Why do you think she said that? Why do you think she said, good grief? I bet she's worried that what this goat is going to do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So they gave us a, two couple pictures to look at. Piper, would you like to see? I might need to bring you to school so you see these children, huh? <laughs> oh me, look at the gate where the you can come into the zoo. And the goat. He has glasses. And the gorilla is playing a g guitar. He's eating some grapes. What else do you see? You see green grass. Oh, what does b balloon start with? B b b. <laughs> That's silly gorilla. I think he belongs in the zoo. I don't think he knows how to be a good guest. No. <laughs> Well, I know you guys have, have been home now for a while. I hope you are um, enjoying your time at home and behaving nicely for your parents and your babysitters and your grandparents. And um, just know that Miss Collie and I talk about you every day and that we miss you. And um, we're sad that we can't be together and get your, your sweet hugs and see your smiling faces. 
So, um, anyway, we just wanted to tell you that we love you. And I'm excited that I get to at least talk to you. I'm sorry I can't hear your answers. I don't know. We're going to have to try to fix that one day, maybe next week. <laughs> I need to hear some of your voices. All right. I hope you make it a great day, even though it's raining. I don't know. Maybe you can go outside and play in the rain. Oh, don't forget to go and check out. Today is uh, Wednesday, so don't forget to go and check out Miss Beatley's webpage. She's got some different videos on there or ideas that you guys can do to play um, and keep busy. And if you haven't seen Miss McMurtry's art page, you definitely need to go check that out too. Okay, she's got great ideas on there that you guys can do uh, for art. And of course, music and Miss Frechette's Spanish. She's got the videos on there for you guys to be practicing your Spanish. Um, if there's anything I can do, please let me know. I love you.